Introduction Opening shot, the camera zooms in on a lecture hall filled with medical students eagerly waiting for the professor. The professor enters the room, walks to the front, and begins the lecture. Professor, good morning, class. Today, we are diving deep into the fascinating field of cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, flow and dynamics, specifically focusing on CSF leaks. CSF leaks can have profound implications for patients and can be challenging to diagnose and manage. In this lecture, we will explore the principles, pathophysiology, radio tracer selection, imaging interpretation, surgical management options, and emerging technologies in CSF leak diagnosis and management. Let's get started. Transition shot, the camera shifts to the professor's introductory slide displaying the topics to be covered in this lecture. Professor, understanding the principles of CSF flow and dynamics is crucial in comprehending CSF leaks. CSF is produced within the choroid plexus in the lateral ventricles and circulates through the ventricular system. It then flows through the cisterns and subarachnoid spaces surrounding the brain and spinal cord. The pressure within the intracranial compartment should be lower than systemic venous pressure to enable proper CSF flow and prevent leaks. Professor, CSF leaks can occur due to various etiologies, such as trauma, iatrogenic causes, or underlying connective tissue disorders. The pathophysiology involves disruptions in the integrity of the meninges, leading to abnormal connections between the intracranial and extracranial spaces. These leaks can manifest as rhinorrhea or otorrhea, and differentiating them from other causes is crucial for accurate diagnosis and management. Transition shot, the camera zooms in on a diagram illustrating the different types of CSF leaks. Professor, cisternography plays a vital role in diagnosing CSF leaks by visualizing the CSF flow dynamics. However, it is essential to consider the indications and contraindications for this imaging modality. Indications may include persistent rhinorrhea, recurrent meningitis, or suspected CSF leak after trauma or surgery. Contraindications may include severe allergy to radio tracers or uncontrolled intracranial hypertension. Professor, the choice of radio tracer for cisternography depends on several factors, including half-life, radiation dose, and imaging characteristics. Commonly used radio tracers include 99M TC DTPA and 111 inches DTPA. The administration techniques involve lumbar puncture under sterile conditions, followed by the injection of the radio tracer into the CSF space. Imaging is then performed using a gamma camera to visualize the CSF flow. Transition shot, the camera shows the professor demonstrating lumbar puncture and radio tracer injection techniques on a mannequin. Professor, interpreting and analyzing cisternograms require a systematic approach. Radiologists must evaluate the presence and location of CSF leaks, as well as the extent and grade of leakage. Quantitative measurements, such as peak tracer concentration and clearance rates, can provide valuable insights into the severity of the leak. Integration of imaging findings with the patient's clinical history is essential for accurate diagnosis and treatment planning. Professor, distinguishing CSF leaks from other causes of rhinorrhea or otorrhea can be challenging. Detailed history taking, physical examination, and imaging evaluation are essential. CSF-specific markers, such as beta-2 transferrin, can aid in confirming the diagnosis. Differentiation from conditions like allergic rhinitis, sinusitis, or traumatic injuries requires a comprehensive approach. Transition shot, the camera focuses on a comparison table highlighting the distinguishing features between CSF leaks and other causes of rhinorrhea or otorrhea. Professor, cisternography also plays a crucial role in evaluating intracranial hypotension, which can result from spontaneous dural tears or iatrogenic causes. By visualizing the CSF dynamics, cisternography can help identify the site of the leak and guide appropriate management strategies. Recognition and prompt treatment of intracranial hypotension are crucial to prevent complications like subdural hematomas and cranial nerve palsies. Professor, classifying and grading CSF leaks is important for guiding treatment decisions and predicting outcomes. Various classification systems, such as the International Skull Base Society Grading System, consider factors like the location, size, and chronicity of the leak. Grading systems help standardize terminology and facilitate communication among healthcare professionals involved in the patient's care. Transition shot, the camera shows a diagram illustrating the International Skull Base Society grading system. Professor, surgical management plays a vital role in treating CSF leaks that are refractory to conservative measures. Options include endoscopic repair, open surgical techniques, or minimally invasive approaches like lumbar drain placement. The choice of surgical approach depends on various factors, such as the site and size of the leak, patient comorbidities, and the surgeon's expertise. 
Professor, Advanced Imaging Techniques, such as Magnetic Resonance Cisternography and Computed Tomography Cisternography, provide detailed anatomical information for localizing CSF leaks. These modalities can precisely identify the site, cause, and extent of the leak, aiding in treatment planning. However, their availability and cost-effectiveness need to be considered when selecting the appropriate imaging modality. Transition Shot the camera shifts to the professor's slide showcasing images obtained from magnetic resonance cisternography and computed tomography cisternography. Professor, despite its utility, cisternography and CSF leak detection have certain challenges and limitations. False positive and false negative results can occur, requiring correlation with clinical findings and additional imaging modalities. Patient factors, such as obesity or anatomical variations, may affect the accuracy and interpretation of cisternograms. Radiologists must be aware of these limitations to avoid misdiagnosis and ensure optimal patient care. Professor, the field of CSF leak diagnosis and management is evolving rapidly, with several innovative technologies on the horizon. Emerging technologies include fluorescent dyes for intraoperative visualization, endoscopic guidance systems, and targeted drug delivery systems. These advancements hold immense promise for enhancing the accuracy, safety, and outcomes of CSF leak diagnosis and treatment. Transition shot, the camera shows futuristic images depicting potential future technologies in CSF leak diagnosis and management. The conclusion.